Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about thinking of myself. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do you think of yourself as a... Uh, do you think of yourself as a computer programmer, developer or engineer or something else? I think this is a stupid question with no meaning. So this is this is what this is uh, like what I write software. I solve problems using computers, and 99.999% of the time, that is writing code in some programming language. And sometimes it's writing readme files, and sometimes it is configuring somebody else's system so that someone who has less understanding of computers know how to use it. That is what I do. I just make the computer do the things that a person wants to do, and then I explain to them why some things work in a certain way, etc., etc., meetings, all of this good stuff. But the labeling of like a computer programmer, developer, engineer, like what, you, you, this is something I truly, do, I truly, truly, truly feel sorry for the people who play these sorts of semantics games where you try to tr try to like n define things to a point where it, it makes, where where I don't even know why. What would you say is the difference between a computer programmer and a software developer? I'm sure that you can discuss it, but to see the problem with language is that it is subjective. And I have had this philosophical discussion with a lot of uh, like grammar Nazis and people who who really do enjoy feeling clever. And I always ask them the same thing: What does it matter if you define a word yet the People using it mean different things when they talk about it and then they of course say well but there's a correct definition and that matters because what so one person is correct because they reference a dictionary written by other people who also decided that this is the correct thing what if they had it wrong from the beginning and the cavemen who uh, or the people who came before actually meant something different when they define that word, what if we changed the diff? Like, what, what, what if you changed the definition to the point where you actually had to guess when you created the definition of the word? Some definitions change. Some are so subtle that you m might have to be a phil philosopher to even remotely understand what it truly means. And see, that's the beautiful part because when language is subjective, it doesn't really matter what you write in the dictionary if the people who are discussing things using the word mean different things because the point of all of this is so that we have the same mental picture of what's going on that we yes we like to love when you say we speak the same language you could rebrand the entire mathemat mathematics system, like just change all the number names to something else. And incidentally, for those of you who don't know that, we actually did have different ways of doing math once upon a time. Numbers look different, etc., etc. And we still managed to do mathematics. It's just that we decided to make the current standard, like we, we just standardized so that we all said the same thing and sort of had the same understanding of it. But we still did logic. And all languages work the same way. It's the same thing with titles. It's the same thing where I tell people what is a senior level software developer and what is a mid-level. You can die. We could sit here and argue that until we both are dead. Both of us could be buried in the sand and uh, the discussion will continue long after our lifetime. Because there is no way for you to definitely define it. And that's why I think that people who who feel that this is extremely important have missed the whole point. The point is that we can just agree, we have to just agree on sort of depending on now really down to 
how precise is the definition that's un in case you haven't thought about that as one of the things that legal representatives do because when we talk about wording in contracts and agreements and the law interpretation which is interpretation as well that's why we have different levels of courts and other good stuff like that because it's so damn impossible to define something definitively uh, that we need people who have higher levels of authority to do interpretation with more and more skills and etc and contextual understanding and sort of who can capture the the wisdom or like the the context of what we're to what we're trying to define right at that sort of level the wording becomes really really important because you might be sent to prison depending on what you actually mean when something is written down or you know etc etc and so for me the way that i think about myself is that i as i said i don't really care I, as you probably have noticed i use programmer software developer I use them practically interchangeably because the people who don't know any better understand that I'm a computer wizard the people who know the actual definition are either smart enough to understand that I talk about doing things with software creating code etc etc and the people who are anal about the definition I don't give a shit about so what I want you to take away from this is that I think of myself as a person who knows how to write code in programming languages and my job is to solve problems for other people that don't know computers as well as I do. That is my job. This is what I do. And the only reason I use the term computer programmer, software developer, backend developer, frontend developer, full stack developer, QA engineer, software engineer, tech wizard, guru of code, rockstar developer, you can just continue that list, is to make the person I'm trying to communicate to understand what I know, sort of. Just in the same way when I say that I am a human, I'm a Swede, I am a white man, or well, I'm whitish, I'm sort of very, okay, I'm sort of pale. All of these three words are words I use so that the person listening or the person that I'm talking to understands sort of what I mean. That's it. That's all I do it for. And I don't care what the word is, as long as it communicates the right thing to the person and I can trust that, ah, oh, yeah, I, I meant this and they understood what I meant. That's where I draw the line. And we can use any title you want and in the future I might not uh, use any of these words. Because once upon a time, you know what we used to call ourselves? Webmasters and application developers. These words are still sort of there, but nobody's using them, and they most of the juniors don't really know what that means anymore. Hmm, go figure. So maybe you should. we should have a little bit of a think about the same thing when it comes to senior and mid-level and junior and so forth. And this is why I tell people, be damn careful when you try to label yourself as something one way or another, because what you think that you mean by saying that you're a senior or a mid-level or something or whatever you label yourself as might be a very different type of association that comes with all kinds of prejudices or like preconceptions depending on who you're talking to. Have a great day.